Mike Hosking Breakfast, six to nine weekdays on News Talks FB. You know, there it's kind of odd. I thought that it took Jeff Bezos to explain what I would have thought was the bleeding obvious. There is a a to do in the U.S. election at the moment among the elites over a couple of newspapers not endorsing a candidate. This is a very American thing. We don't do it here. We're very wise not to. It started with the Los Angeles Times, who decided no endorsement would be made. This led to one of the editorial board quitting and a lot of whining. Then came the Washington Post. This is the paper that Bezos owns, and the editor said it was their call not to endorse. This was disputed. Several board members walked in allegedly a couple of hundred thousand subscribers as of yesterday had quit the paper. Enter Bezos, who wrote a couple of self-explanatory things. Firstly, he wished the no endorsement move had come earlier, not in the heat of the battle. He then pointed out, quite correctly, not a single undecided voter ever, anywhere, had their mind made up by a newspaper. And then, most importantly of all, he suggested, once again, quite correctly, the media is not trusted by the American public and wandering around pretending to be neutral while endorsing people is not going to help their reputation. Not surprisingly, both papers were going to endorse Harris and whether from a point of view of true balance or not, a media already seen to be hopelessly left-leaning and in the Democrats' pocket was not going to tilt the balance their way by further enhancing their reputation as anti-Trump. The endorsement business comes from a different age, of course, an age when papers actually mattered. Some still do, but not many. And as the media is diluted, it matters less and less. The problem with the problem is those in the middle of it still clearly suffer from another of the age-old problems of the media. Too many take themselves too seriously. I bet many of them actually believe that people don't make up their mind until they're told to. Uh, Many of them will think that an endorsement swings the race or moves the needle. Many of them will think that a Bezos as owner really doesn't get to make the calls when, guess what, he does. The upside might just be that a tired old habit, i.e. the endorsement by a newspaper, might just have died in the race of 24. The Mike Hosking Breakfast, 6 to 9 weekdays on Newstalk ZB.